Hello and welcome to Graphic Online News in Brief. In the headlines, UTAC calls off in tender strike. Elizabeth Saki is endorsed as first female chief executive for AME. However, Cape Coast Metro rejects NS Arthur for the second time. I have original police begin probe into 36-year-old mass teacher's death and 35-year-old private security man found dead at his duty post. News in Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. And now the News in Brief. The University Teachers Association of Ghana, UTAG, is calling off its intended strike action scheduled for Friday, October 8. The latest decision by the association comes after UTAG and the government reached a consensus on Wednesday, October 6, in ongoing salary negotiations. UTAG members are demanding to be restored to the 2012 single spine package, which puts entry-level lecturers on a salary of $2,084. UTAG says the current arrangement puts lecturers' salary at around $997. They threatened at the beginning of October that should government fail to advance discussions to address the issue, they would down their tools on Friday, October 8th. But speaking at the press meeting, UTAC President Professor Solomon Nunu urged the government to fulfill its part of the bargain. To some politics and the first female Metropolitan Chief Executive nominee for the Greater Accra Metropolitan Assembly, Miss Elizabeth Saki has been unanimously confirmed by Assembly members. The former Greater Accra Deputy Minister and former Member of Parliament for Kankoi North received a 100% endorsement during the election in Accra on Thursday, October 7. The election was generally smooth and peaceful amidst singing and dancing by Assembly members and sympathizers. The event was attended by traditional leaders, former chief executives of AMA, personnel from the security agencies, politicians, religious leaders, Ghan traditional council, market women, and some sympathizers. Clad all in white, Mrs. Elizabeth Saki thanked the assembly members for their support and promised to work with stakeholders to improve the development of Accra. Meanwhile, the president's MCE nominee for the Cape Coast Metropolitan Assembly, Ernest Arthur, has been rejected for the second time by assembly members. Mr. Arthur, who was renominated by the president, failed again to get the two-thirds majority needed to make him MCE. He pulled 40 out of the 65 valid votes cast. Mr. Arthur in the first election pulled 34 out of the 65 votes cast. The election was characterized by tension and heavy security presence. The Afro-Regional Police Command is investigating the death of a 36-year-old mathematics teacher of the Bechem Methodist Junior High School in the Tano South Municipality. Victor Dewey's decomposing body was found in his bedroom on Tuesday, October 5. The Ahaf Original Police Public Relations Officer, ASP Kwame Lo, told Graphic Online that Dria was reported missing by his landlord. However, his body was later found in his room when the police forced his door open in the presence of the landlord and Dria's colleague teachers. ASP Lo said the police found the bottle of wine, unidentified herbal bitters and a bottle of water after a search. Police, however, do not suspect any foul play. In our final story, a private security man was discovered dead at his duty post at the Adansi Rural Bank at Tonsu Branch in Kumasi. A cleaner at the bank discovered the body of the 35-year-old Alex Opoku with his mouth sealed and his body bound. According to the police, no injuries were found on the body and that whatever happened to Opoku may have happened after close of business on Wednesday. The perpetrators tampered with the bank's ATM and managed to take away a laptop and the CCTV monitor. Body of the deceased has since been conveyed to the Confanoche Teaching Hospital for autopsy. Residents are, however, appealing to the police to increase patrols at night to keep the area safe. Thank you for watching. We we'll see you again with another edition. Stay safe and protect yourself from COVID-19. For more news, visit graphic.com.gh or log on to Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube at GraphicGH. I'm Ama Echa Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.